Rated RP to M. Explain why. 
You see, John Cena was really the cause of why this indie epidemic has been happening. A lot of people have not been pointing it out. You see, John Cena, as a lot of you know, from 20, 2010, people pretty much reached their peak. And they got really pissed off at it, right? So, guess what WWE did? They went from one extreme to another. And John Cena was really the cause of fans turning against the uh, superheroes, the, 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 the guys that we idolize in WWE. He pretty much buried other talent, and the fans turned to a bunch of fucking weirdos that people didn't fully understand. And it's only until now that people have fully realized what this has happened. But if we are going to go after them, we have to bear in mind the guy that caused it. All. The man caused it all, people. And that is a fact. And that is exactly why we're doing this today. Because people seem to believe that John Cena is against the Indies. When in fact, he was the genesis for causing all of this. Fans turned to a, 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 a fucking a, a concept that they never fully understood. And it isn't until today that people eventually realized what happened. So I'm going to get into that. And then we're going to get into some of the real shit about John Cena as well. So let's do it. Number one. He made the indies into the mainstream. Now when I said I was going to do this John Cena video very different. This is exactly what it is. See a lot of people seem to ignore the fact. The John Cena is actually the cause of why we have zero character and zero development that what we have in WWE today. You see, back in the day, a lot of you will be fully aware, during the PG era, John Cena buried everyone. He annihilated people. He fucking would never lose. And everyone got frustrated, myself included. I remember back when I was in ETA, I was so frustrated at this man because he kept beating people left, right, and center. Every time you would watch a pay-per-view, it would be this. And eventually we got sick of it. Uh, uh, we eventually got sick of it, folks. And guess what happened? I'll tell you what happened. The fans turned to a concept that they didn't fully understand. You ever seen the Joker from The Dark Knight? You ever seen that where, where, where uh, fucking Alfred goes, goes well, well, mate, you, you pushed him to, to a point that they didn't fully understand, mate. You pushed him, you, put, you bullied them and pushed them, and they turned to a man that they didn't really understand that. It's a terrible fucking Alfred impersonation from the Dark Knight. But anyway, but the fact remains, he was the cause of this. Fans got sick of him. Fans didn't like him because he kept winning and winning and winning and winning. And what did WWE do? Rather than making a character that has charisma that was different from John Cena, they made Roman Reigns. And I do like Roman. I have to be honest. I, I, I don't hate him as much as John Cena. I don't mind Roman. I have to be honest. But then the John Cena fact kicked in. John Cena was winning constantly. And now we have a plague of indie fans taking over the show with zero charisma, zero might work, and have completely ruined the professional wrestling industry. My next point is something that a lot of people seem to point out, and I want to rebunk it straight away. I like the man, but hate the character. Now, a lot of you might say, uh, well, he's a great guy, Jerry. He's a great guy, like, I mean, I hate the character, but he's a great guy. And a lot of you want to know where I'm going with this. Because I know for a damn fact, John Cena is a fully-fledged Super Saiyan cunt. Let me explain. I'm going to be showing you evidence of why John Cena is a dickhead behind the scenes, people. Yes, I'm going to be showing you that. Now, just to give you a little background, you see, a lot of people might seem to think that John Cena is well respected um, behind the scenes. He's a great guy. Everybody seems to like him. The other concept is he's not power hungry. You see, John Cena's not like Hulk Hogan. 
You see, he doesn't dictate what matches he should win or not. And I always state the obvious, the NXT thing, the, the fucking Nexus thing that happened. Remember when he buried everyone? But a lot of people turn around and say, oh, Jerry, that's just a one-off thing. He made a mistake. People make mistakes, yeah. You see, what have I told you? He was a dickhead recently. Play the goddamn footage, people. Roll it there. Roll it. John's blocked on my Twitter. I blocked him. Uh, <laughs> he is legit. I blocked his. He blocked him a long time. He's been a piece of shit to me from day one. And people are like, the guy, I was nothing but nice and respectful to him. And I know Alex Riley just came out today. Yeah, that just came out today. When people hear what really happened with that, they're going to lose their shit. Like, and I know I have a pretty good idea what happened with that and the mm. guys in WWE. And it, 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 what it's, it's fucking hilarious. And to, and like, it, it's hilarious because what, what people will find out about John and like, and then they're whatever, but it's just, he's, he's done. So he used to shit talk me when I was in the ring. I remember working against Mark Henry. You got to remember, like, I came up with all these guys in developmental. So like, I know everyone that's sitting backstage. Who is shit talk? Like, Alex or John? No, John. No, okay. John. I used to be back there for John when Riley was in the ring, when the company, when they were fucking with him because John was hot at him. Yeah. Like, what happened? Yeah. With all this. And it's not my place to discuss. No, that. let him take that. Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. Uh, but, but John would sit back there and bury Riley in front of everybody for no reason. And Alex Riley is fucking money. He was money from day one. It, it's mind Definitely. blowing. You got a guy yeah. with the right look, the right attitude. You know, I know bust he was at bust his ass. He had awesome theme music. Worked his ass off, went out there and got a reaction from the people. Yeah, because of John Cena and people. I swear to God, I swear to fucking God, because of John Cena, his career is over in the WWE for no fucking reason outside of because of John and his personal issues. Yep. Uh, he's been poisoned to the wrestling industry, and for me, I, I told you this. We've talked about this before, and like, and again, this is my opinion. And I, but you know what? I think I'm pretty accurate on this. Is I think he did so much harm for so long to new talent to getting breaking out up there mm -hmm. and I have my experiences and other talents up there have their experiences that I think Hunter had to finally say what the fuck do I need to do and I think he just started you know with the NXT thing and bringing up these NXT guys and protecting the fuck out of them yeah and he, there, there's so many guys now John can't just fucking pick his battle with one guy hey. because there's nine other guys hot on you know what I mean yeah and he's been surpassed now and so and if that is what Hunter is brilliant if that's what he did mm -hmm. to do that with, to, to fucking get rid of the Cena problem because I've always said this and I talked about on my, when I did these interviews overseas on, on the night with the evening with, with Ryback and I, I talked about why like the people, John, I'm, I'm a big believer that, that you should go with who the hot ticket is. Yeah. That whoever the crowd is behind and they're, they are showing the most interest in, you run with them and your top guys constantly are kind of changing and you can still protect those guys when they're not in that main slot still and keep them relevant until they fucking change up and start getting hot again maybe doing something a little different mm -hmm. but everything gets stale over time and i was talking to the crowd and they, and they stood up to a round of applause when i said the reason why you guys boo roman reigns is because you're booing vince and his ideas and what he believes in now because he's he's out of touch and and the place stood up and he rubbed into, <laughs> into a roar of applause yeah. and it, it, it but it's so simple. It's true, yeah. And it, but like, but John, it comes from that. Well, we got to just push one guy down your fucking throats. No, you push who the crowd is behind. Yeah. Like, and you look back, and I use this as example because I lived it when 2012, when when the undefeated streak with Ryback and going into the thing with Punk, hot on my heels with that. Daniel Bryan was picking up steam with the yes stuff mm -hmm. during all of this too, while I was in my main event run. Now, now, just imagine we keep me babyface in my main event run all the way to me and Cena at WrestleMania. I take the title off him. I'm bigger than ever now. And then you have fucking Daniel Bryan, who's hot on my heels, if not as hot, if not hotter. And then we eventually go to a baby baby where we fucking then we let, you know, pass it on to Dan. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so but but they don't do that. No, they, no that's way. Why, and that, that's why people boo them. And they, but they, they don't give a shit because whether he makes three hundred million dollars a year or one hundred and fifty million dollars a year, he'd rather make one hundred and fifty million dollars a year and say fuck you guys, I can do what I want. This is my company. Yeah, that's why I left because I respect that. That's your company. That's I'll go create my own world and my own empire and my own company, mm -hmm. and I'll call the shots and I'll be a little more realistic about it. So, and I'm willing to believe that you're not the only person that thinks this way. I'm willing to believe that multiple, no. if not the entire, like. It, it just makes the entire roster thinks this, and it makes total yeah. sense. 
And that's why I left. I always said it takes, and I didn't obviously leave in the top, top position, but I left with some good standing, with some good equity in my name. And I always said, like, it, it's going to take somebody, you know, standing up and just saying the way shit is. It's standing, and that's what, like, that's the best compliment I can get for this podcast when people say we appreciate you just telling your truth, yeah. speaking the truth. And I, and I, this is 100% from my perspective and what I believe. And I'm telling you, I've lived it. I've been there. I've been, I've been figured in for a long time. And, and it's, it, things need to change. And it's, uh, it's just interesting to hear the, the, all the things going on up there and, and whatnot. But I, I, I'm, I'm so, I totally made the right decision and I'm so happy being away from that. And it's, but somebody needs to speak up for all the guys, uh, because the guys there don't have that luxury. So. You see, as I explained earlier, and as Ryback explained perfectly in that video, he explained that the fact that the, the reason why a lot of this NXT influx is happening right now it was because of John Cena. John Cena was the cause of what we're seeing now in the grand scheme of things, right? Now, I'm not all against the indie fans. There is some aspects that I do like. I am a fan of AJ Styles. But I do not like some of these other indie guys that literally have no char charisma. And what happens is, is that Hunter, seeing what John Cena was doing in the past, and I've explained this beautifully before, where John Cena um, doesn't have power. People seem to have this concept that John Cena has no power and blah, 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 blah. And he does have power. He clearly had power in the past. He doesn't have as much as what he has now. And that brings me to my next point. The real reason why he is part-time. why he was part-time was because of this concept that he wants to get into movies, he wants to do something different, and a lot of elements of that are true, but I'll tell you the real reason. You want to know the real reason? John Cena has seen an influx of stars that have come in, good and bad, mostly bad, they're literally shoveling them in. You know, just shoveling them all into WWE and with the brand split. And that's the reason why they did this brand split, by the way. So that they can shove more wrestlers in. And John Cena now is like a game of whack-a-mole. It's like, you ever seen whack-a-mole? Where he has to do that. And he's like, oh. He's like hitting, he's trying to hit Nakamura. He's trying to fucking hit Sami Zayn. He's trying to hit all these guys. Boom, 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 boom. And he can't do it anymore. So John Cena went, You know what, C Nation? You can't see me. I'm going to be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. I'm not getting any more builds up in here. Yeah. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to Hollywood, man. I'm going to be like The Rock, man. Even though he can't really act like The Rock. Let's be honest. But John Cena, the real reason why he went part-time, despite what some people might think, the real reason is that he cannot keep up with a lot of this influx of stars that have come in. And John Cena went, see you later, C Nation. Yeah, I will be part-time. I'm going to wrestle The Undertaker. I want that Undertaker contract. Yeah, I only have to wrestle a few nights a week. Oh, yeah, that's some good shit. Yeah, I'm going to be on my part-time contract. That's the real reason why it's part-time people, not by this bullshit that some people might make you believe. In conclusion... Now, you might be a John Cena fan, and I understand that. And again, opinions is subject. It's subject to criticism. But the fact that some people that have said that John Cena is this crusader for good now because he's looking to bury the Indies, when a lot of people seem to fail to realize 
He was the cause of all this. He is why WWE is mediocre. He is the reason why WWE has to go in this direction. He is the reason why he has single-handedly destroyed professional wrestling. Guys, I know you might like John Cena, and I know I might get hit for this video, but you have to bear in mind, if you are going to attack these indie guys, do not forget, John Cena was the real genesis of why this all started. Guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, i also like to thank uh, Joe Cronin for retweeting this poll right now. Um, we got a whopping uh, 100 votes. It's still ongoing, but by the looks of it, John Cena's going to win. Um, John Cena got, I believe, 45% of the vote on the poll on Twitter. I will post a poll up there. Also, guys, if you want to recommend a wrestler that you really hate and want me to really, really, really rant on, um, go in the comments below and I will do that for you guys. Um, and like I said, guys, everything is subject to opinion. You might not agree with me. You know, that's completely fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but so in conclusion, fuck John Cena! Fuck that cunt! He's a fucking bucket head loser! And he always sucks! Fuck John Cena! Fuck him! I fucking can't stand him! I absolutely hate him! Absolute bastard! Fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck! Yo, C-Nation, that man just buried me, yeah! So, uh, if you want more videos and more rants, yeah, <laughs> make sure to click that subscribe button. Yeah, C-Nation out, man, yeah.